What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of A Therapeutic Edge. Today on the table in front of us is a real personal favorite. This is a knife that I sought for a long time and I picked it up and I've been super happy with it. This is the Kaiser Mjolnir and it is just a spectacular knife. This is one of the few M390 Kaiser blades that they've got out there. You have to forgive the lighting. I am outside in the dark and there's a number of different lights going on, so it might be a little funky tonight, but we're going to give it a shot and see how it goes. This is one of those knives that it isn't that much to look at. I mean, in in the world of, you know, Pena Mini Diesels and, you know, fancy knives with all sorts of fancy stuff going on, this is a really straightforward and basic knife, but it is so good in hand. It is comfortable. It is smooth at the pivot. This is Kaiser doing what they do and doing it so well. I love this knife. Now, I mentioned that this is M390. Uh, this came out a long time ago, and this is before Kaiser did a lot of M390. For that reason, and I think for the reason that the handle is this sort of specific shape, this sort of flew under the radar, but it is really, really worth getting your hands on if you like bigger knives. I mean, this thing is what? What are we looking at here? We are looking at three and three quarters inches of M390. It is about three millimeters thick at the spine. The handle is oh, just about 0.6 of an inch across, although it is relatively light for all that because it, I'm not sure if you can see that. You can just a little in there. It is very well milled out. See that right there? It is very well milled out inside the handles. This is a great knife. Now, again, it's not fancy. It's not special. And in this day, particularly right now, we're sitting at this apex of like high-end materials and, you know, crushed carbon fiber and all this fancy stuff. This is a really straightforward and basic knife. But because of that, I love it. This thing goes in my pocket when I need something I know is not going to fail me. And I got to tell you, the Kaiser Mjolnir will not fail you. It is just a spectacular knife. It is very straightforward, as I mentioned. And look, sometimes that's what you need, right? The blade... There's no recurve to it. It's a long flat with a nice belly, right? It's got almost a harpoon, except this is so far back, it's really just more of a thumb ramp. Uh, this is the Kaiser Stonewash. And because of that, excuse me, uh, because of that, the blade does not mark up at all. I've used this thing a ton and you cannot tell. And that is excellent. Now, things I don't love. Well, the pocket clip, not gonna lie. <laughs> a lot of knife sticks up out of this thing. You know, when you put this thing in the pocket, you've got a lot of knife sticking up. And that's kind of a bummer. Um, I think you might be able to fit an aftermarket clip on here. I'm not sure. I know that Pops Custom Clips might make one if you asked. Uh, Pops Custom Clips is over there on Etsy, and he does really good work with custom clips. You might have to send him the knife, because I don't think he has one that will fit this right now. But you could do it. And you know what? Given that it's M390 and all titanium running on bearings, I think this knife might be worth the investment if you are interested. So that's the neat thing about the aftermarket stuff for knives. If it isn't out there, but you know somebody or know of somebody who has the talent and the skill, and that's not me, <laughs> by the way, to make such things, it can be made, right? I have seen people anno these out in just beautiful colors. Uh, my buddy Joshua over on Jimmy Slash had one of these that was done up in a beautiful blue. Again, I'll never do that because to me, knives are supposed to be black, gray, or silver. And this is all silver in all the right ways. This knife is comfortable in hand. Again, as I always say, if you're gonna get in a gas station fight, this would work just fine. It is really stabby in that, in the uh, reverse grip. It is super comfortable in the push cut grip. You can get your finger up here for fine edge work. This is just a great knife all the way around. So once again, this is the Kaiser Mjolnir. This is one of my all-time favorites. I must admit, it doesn't get as much pocket time as I thought it would because lately my knives, well, I've gotten a lot of really great knives in the last six months. Uh, it's been a little crazy, but I always keep this. I've never thought about selling it. I've never thought about moving it on because it will always have a place in my collection for what it is. This is Kaiser at their best as far as I'm concerned. This was a unique knife for them at the time. They are still available. And if that blade shape and that handle design work for you, I recommend this a lot. Anyway, thanks for watching. 
This has been super fun. I love talking about some of my favorite knives. If you have questions about this or any knives that I've shared on the channel, feel free to ask down in the comments below. Once again, this has been a Therapeutic Edge. I'll see you next time.